stopping by again man I really appreciate it I um I'm gonna stop by and say hi again uh, I'm not gonna he uh, keep you here too long because uh, it's um <clears throat> it's still hot a little bit but you know it's getting better but um, I really wanted to do this tribute here and um, you know keep working on my tone keep working on my tone man because uh, everything's cool everywhere else, but uh, <clears throat> I really, um, my last video with uh, with um, with uh, Lion High again, I like the video. The video has a good vibe, focus are cool, the playing is cool, but um, I'm always struggling to get my particular personal guitar sound taped right by logic here right it's always passable yes it's passable it's gainy but uh i know my sound you know and i need that sound to be recorded as as um as it's in this room here okay and i don't want it to be messed with in there or uh, maybe because i feel i feel maybe the last time it, I, it was too much wattage going into going into the software so i said you know i, I know i could get a better tone and um, what what other uh, what better song to 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 keep plugging with this uh, tone situation than with the Van Halen and you know and uh, why not make it a tribute to Eddie Van Halen right of course and uh, so you know hope you guys like it man um, let me see if this is recording because I put this on and yeah it's recording man and uh, yeah man so hope you like it you know it's all live. All live, you know, it's no uh, overdubs or anything. Um, and I'll, I'll talk to you for a little bit. You know, I won't keep you here too long because if I make a long video, it, just, uh, it takes a long time to upload to YouTube and bounce out and all that. But, um, and, uh, yeah, you know. What, where can I start? Where can I start? Um, you know we got new tools right I got my pedal board right here in front of me this time you know I found an extension that was able to bring it up so this song here is is uh, played um, in a way that Eddie Van Halen would play it you know as you I, I was watching uh, the other day you know rehearsing for this and um, it was Stefan pedals for certain parts you know here comes the the tapping part is one thing and then when he did the the, the pull up harmonics on there on the beginning of the song he would step on a pedal and i guess you know uh he knows what he was doing so and then um i saw him um the beginning of the song where the flanger comes in and just the plane comes in you know swoosh I stepped on that too. So like, I, I kind of like uh, <laughs> pretty much copying him in this video here. And uh, so I had to get my pedal board in front, you know, I had to get an extension to bring it up forward so I could, you know, stand up and, and hit it, right? And that's what I did. If you notice, uh, you can't see it because of the shot probably, but I, I was hitting certain pedals in certain sections here. You know what I mean? Um, so my pedal ball's right here in front of me, and uh, we know it. So I've been playing with the same kind of rig for a long time, and uh, I need that sound to be taped right on the, on, the, on the software. You know, we're getting there. You know, I mean, maybe it's me. You know, I'm not a, I, I, I hmm. you know, I'm, um, I'm 80% player, and, uh, 30% um, um, audio file, right? Uh, um, into in, in the, in the geek thing, you know? 
So I'm more of a player than that. And you know, we met in just uh, the latest years here. And the last year, few, um, um, a decade for me is like a, it's like a, a, sh a short term, a decade, right? For the last 10 years, which is for me short. Uh, um, yeah, we begin getting into uh, the, all the, pro the production side of things, right? But primarily all my life was I've been a player. And, um, you know, into the marshal, be a rat, and, and that's it. You know what I mean? Keep checking for this thing here. I'm not going to keep you long. i got to keep check of the time. Right? And uh, so, I mean, I know I've, I've seen I've seen little girls, man, with, with the vicious tones, you know. And, uh, but, uh, I, I, you know, we're not playing presets here. You know, we're not playing uh, amplitude. I have a, a killer ampl uh, amplitude sound. You know, I use it some, you know, some, some videos. Um, got a JCM 800 in there, so police and all that. I got, I got, I got a pretty much a set preset sound. But a live, this is my physical head, you know, and the physical pedal board. And so, so and we're, we're surrounded by level knobs here, man. It makes me crazy. You know what I mean? You got a, the attenuator has got a level thing. Then you got the, the whatever effects. The, like I'm running through a reverb here, and it's got a levels and levels it's like so all these levels like if you put one down it's gonna you know all kinds of like you won't like let your true tone come through you know I, I moved the level here and there all of a sudden hey this is my sound back you know it's my sound again you know and so i said you know I got, i'll keep working on my sound man you know what i mean because um plan high again we just uh we had new valves and everything you know, so we're getting there we're getting there not my sound, but you know we can there. And I'm, if you notice, I'm always, I'm always, um, I'm always saying, oh, this is a good sound. This is a good sound. Some guitar players do. They go, oh, this is a killer sound. This is a killer sound. And then two weeks later, we're changing our minds. You know what? I can get a better sound. You know, it's like it's ridiculous. You know. Yeah. So anyway, that's that. Man. You know, we'll go over the song real quick. You know, and uh, I'll tell you. Uh, you know, a few things about Van Hill, you know, my, my experiences with the, you know, as you know, I could walk, I consider, listen man, I consider myself uh, really lucky. And lucky if this thing is recording. Really lucky because I feel, like many, like many are very lucky, I feel that um, we caught all of Van Halen's life as a band. We caught all of Motorhead's life. As a band, you know, you know, I was, um, you know, I bought Van Halen album in 1970, uh, 19, uh, I think, oh, yeah, 1979, 78, I guess it was fresh, you know, a year, uh, to, I guess it was a year late for me, I bought the, the, the Van Halen one, it probably, had, probably, it probably was like a year afterwards, so maybe that same, yeah, I bought it in 70, for sure, in 79. Yeah, 79. Yeah. 78. And that's when it came out, right? So, we're up with Van Halen, man. I saw him on TV doing the, 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 the you know that, you're not you know, good. You know, that's it. I was sold on that, man. You know, and then, my whole life, my whole life until this day, until Eddie's passing, we're into Van Halen, so we pretty much we have lived and enjoyed all of Van Halen's uh, um, existence and the incredible amount of pleasure that it has given us throughout the year. I mean, uh, there's no other band that I, did, you know, my top five bands in the whole world, and Van Halen's right up there. Maybe it's number three, probably number two. Uh, well, you know, it's hard to say with Kiss and Sabbath and all that. Van Halen is the greatest band in the world, man. And uh, so we caught that. We caught that in 78, man. I was a little kid, you know. And then I we got the uh, Fair Warning. What Fair Warning. And I remember buying Women and Children first. I keep boasting about this. Thing, you know? I remember that I was in the store. I was in the store. And that, that's because I was already sold by Van Halen. Fair warning, and uh, I saw the fair warning tour, you know, 
and, and, and I made the guy play this. You, you have a copy of this in your in back there, right? He goes, yeah, we do. You know, and he, he said, play, play. I couldn't wait. And the first thing I heard was incredible rock, the flanger part. Man. Wow, man, this is incredible. Anyway, so that's that, right? Van Halen, man. And uh, what else? What else can I tell you about Van Halen there? <laughs> and funny, you know, I've been playing guitar for, you know, since I was like 14, you know, 14 years old, man. And, and uh, what do you call it? Uh, about Fair Warning. And, 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 and I've been listening to that album ever since, man. Right? And all through my guitar experience, I never attempted to do this tapping thing with the beginning of this uh, Mean Street, man. It was, forget about it. Back in the day, forget about it. You know, there was no YouTube, there was no instruction. You either had to listen to it on the, on the vinyl or you, or, 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 or somebody had to teach it to you personally. And that was forget about it. I, was, I just gave up on that. Yeah, that's, that's, how the hell do you, I can even do it now. You know, I try. Yeah, I hope it's half decent. You know? And uh, the reason I'm trying now is because I, we're getting woody tones. We're getting woody marshall. You know, we're all kinds of tones. You know, we've been into tone lately, so we, we're all martial tones, uh, you know, hard edge, classic rock, uh, you know, into like heavy over driven like that. Right? So all kinds of tones. So I said, maybe you could do this tapping now, with this. but you know, and uh, I know how it's done, but it's just like my brain is all fried, so like I can't, you know, that the one and twice and this and that. So, like, so this is probably the best I can do. You know, come back in five years, I'll get it down. Uh, so that's not, where, where, where was I? So, yeah, so I, I never attempted that, man. I never attempted that, uh, that piece there. You know, I, I was a little kid. Somebody, some other, some, some guy told me, he's doing harmonics. He's just, you know, tapping harmonics. Yeah, well, you know, what about that, 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 uh, that drumming part, man, you know? And so, like, but now, you know, we got the aid of, of YouTube and, and instructional videos and all that. So right now, like, Everybody and the little the little sisters are doing it. You know, all that fucking perfect, man. It makes me, you know, I feel like I feel like sitting my you know, ridiculous. So I thought I, I, I thought I'd try it, man. So I hope you like it, man, you know. Good vibe. We're catching a vibe here, you know what I mean? It's not just uh it's not just uh, um technique, you know, it's it's, it's a vibe too, it's presentation. So that's that with Van Halen, so I'm very proud of that, man, you know. Van Halen was very, 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 very important to me. And so, what else am I going to tell you? Yeah. So we got, you know, we're running, you know, I'll tell you about my gear here. You know, we were running pedal board. You know, my the rack goes through, um, I got the EQ pedal here. You know, I, I was stepping on that for, uh, um, mm, I think the, the tap for the tapping part and and uh, you know gives you that little pump the bump the, the frown the frown curve that Eddie used you know that kind of thing the, you know the 500 to 1000 bump um, but I needed a martial you know more of a, a textural martial tone than before um, the delay I put on for certain parts and saw the ultra solo there I did my own thing in the ultra solo I'll tell you what I did okay we're ready we're already clocking time here, so let me get to it. How are we doing here? Yeah, we're doing good, man. I think I to stop. I'd like to stop around the 20 minute mark, man. Right? We even have the do working and everything. The the, the, the glue is, is, is holding on. That's good, man. All right, so we got that, man. So let's explain some of this, man. Where, where, where are we here? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna pull on my... On my nose. If I fall on my nose, we'll make her bigger. Everybody put me fall on my nose, man. See, I go, I go, I, I, I rebel. When I was a kid, everybody still make fun of my nose, man. They call me, uh, no se policiano. So, yeah, I'm gonna put a fucking ring on it. I put a ring on it. Let me see. We have sound. We have sound. What do we got here? Make it have a sound, man. 
Yeah. You don't do the thing there. Okay, so check this out, man. This for me, you know, the life situation. Here we go. I got, I got a. Uh, look what I got. Let me show you, man. This was a gift from uh, I Love Sluts, my label. Right? They sent me on this. Uh, my birthday was a like while back in the summer, and they sent me this. You know. It's a wah pedal. Jimmy Hendrix wah pedal, man. I haven't tried it. I haven't tried it yet. But it's a nice box. So I was kind of disappointed with it, though, because, because um, let's leave it here. I'm saying, Hendrix be watching. What, what's your brother's there, Jimmy? Because I told, I strictly told him, listen, I want, I want the chrome one. I want the chrome one. The chrome, it looks like a box. You know, the, it looks like the box pedal. The wah pedal looks like a box pedal. The, the Hendrix pedal that I wanted looks like the box pedal that's out there somewhere. It's chrome with the black with the black um, rubber on it, right? That's the one I wanted because the the, the, the one I saw the, I, the Hendrix, the one I saw, Jimi Hendrix wah was a chrome. And then I get this one, and this one is just the regular black one. Still Jimi Hendrix pedal, but uh, I wanted the chrome one. So, you know, I gave him a piece of my mind, you know. So this is a uh, martial tone right here. So we're in tune. I'm gonna make it quick, man, because you're gonna get uh, a little extended. Right? Always a good tuning, man. It's always pretty stable. And uh, I said, you know, I, got, I gotta get taped. I gotta get my, my tone taped right. That's what it is. I'm not, I'm not insecure about my time. No, this, look, check this out. take that right so we're getting there man we're getting there and um so I didn't bring out the, the wah pedal here I bought, I bought um this one I didn't use it uh I bought my funky monkey wah pedal from more you know the little the little the little um little one and that's what I put on when, when the funky part in this song comes on so I was playing up all these pedals here <laughs> Go before the solo. You know that part? Maybe you could hear that one. So it's a wah pedal, automatic wah, to the more funky monkey, right? I, I, I reviewed it a long time ago. It was like this. Well, when that, when that part comes in, Thank <laughs> you. 
that right? It gives me that uh, why why thing without making it too wide. I could make it more pronounced. Then I'll step in on that for that part. And uh, here comes uh, you know the beginning of. solo and stepping on the you see of the delay because how are we doing here how are we doing we're talking to the the blackness or what no we're talking to not we're too we're still recording look at this the belt all right man so so the, the point is that I was think, stepping up all these little pedals here at various times, just like any even here, right? And, and uh, I think, like for example, for the for the riff, I didn't step on the, the delay. You want that tight? You see that? It works. Oh, you gotta hit it on time, the, the, the flanger. So, and then um, you can step on, um, also for the, for, the, for the breakdown. did was, you know, he's doing the... Check this out. If you notice his backing track underneath the solo, Ed is doing some wicked funky playing, man. He's going like this. Funky, but the song is funky. For the solo, behind the solo, right? Right? So I said, that's a really cool part that is the rhythm part the behind the solo. You know, let me see if I could do it on the outro with my wah pedal. So it's all like, you know, invented. Okay, let's go for more of a wild pedal here, my wild, uh, I don't know if it could get... You see, you could even make it more meaner. So here's all the Ed, the Ed influence. I'm doing this part. Harmonics in between, in the funk. What did we say? What do you say if we play the song sitting down like this? And uh, I'll, I'll tell you what I'm stepping on as I'm um, playing the song. Right. Now, let me see if I could do it. Let me see I got a... Of course I got a... Make sure this thing... You know what? I'm going to stop. Look at my guitar for a second. I'm going to stop. Then I'm going to record again. Okay, let's do it again. Because that way it's not going to cut out on me. So let's see. I 
I'm going to, um... what I did with this song. Check it out. Let's see if we can do it. So I gave myself some time for the for the intro. I gave myself some time for the intro here. Right? And um tell it this part kicked my ass has still kicks my ass. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous. Check it out, man. Let's play the song and then we'll cut it, right? Check it out. It gave me so, my, myself some time before the song starts. Something like that. Ugh, ridiculous. Anyway, then you uh said, you know, let me see. Put that that um that EQ.
can do in the beginning a uh, part that kicked my ass for so long man you know are we doing how we doing okay and that's that man hope you could dig it thank you very much for coming by man you know we're always doing something special you know what I mean we're gonna do uh, some um, acoustic stuff like I said last time you know we're playing it we're playing it we're gonna do and I'm working on my song, man. I'm working on my song. I got two months to do, uh, deliver this, you know. And uh, Halloween. And uh, it's going good, so. Thank you very much for coming. I really appreciate it. Okay? And uh, I'll see you next time. All right? I hope you enjoyed this, man. Take care. Stay safe. Later.